All right, so we are starting off now looking at our generic passes uh, for Delahiva. So not group specific. Okay, we'll start to get into those specific details once we get into those positions. And again, guys, if you can't see an angle, just move yourselves, okay? So the general idea from inside Delahiva is that if his feet aren't touching me, then he can't really affect me with his feet. He can't put any power into me. So at all times, I'm constantly trying to keep his feet off of me, okay? Now, the lower that you grab on the legs, the more of an effect you're going to have on this. However, it does make you overcommit your upper body at times, um, which may lead into some sort of an option for him, okay? Now, the first one that we're going to look at is our knee through. We're going to break this down to a really simple concept. It's going to be a more advanced version of the um, knee cut or knee through pass. Um, and I'm going to show you two ways that we can look at stuffing these feet. Okay, three, technically. One, you're strong. Just push down, okay? Two, he's an active opponent, and every time I try to affect his legs, all he has to do to keep me inside the Deli Hiva is kick me. So every time I try and push down, if he just kicks, he's going to reset his position, okay? So the main grip that I'm going to use on the Deli Hiva hook, thumb pointing at my knee, gather up the pant leg so that I can actually punch down with my knuckles or, again, with nice, strong pressure with the palm. So that way he can't affect me as much because this is the main source of my problems. But if I don't deal with this leg, again, he's just going to kick, which will then re-angle my knee and he'll reset that foot. Okay, so again, thumb pointing at my knee, grabbing below his knee line on the shin, but still pretty close to that knee because I need to keep that sandwich to the mat. My other hand, I'm going to suggest going as close to the ankle as you possibly can. And if you can pick up a grip, great. But this one, I always tend to just grab onto the leg itself. So what I'm going to do is extend my leg, punching down and rotating my knee out. And then now again, if I can't just push down on this so he resets, I'm going to take a small step back to remove the tension as I cross his leg over. And then I'm going to squat on top of it. So my whole process of doing this is just to eliminate his ability to have an easy reset. Because if I leave too much space and he can get this foot back to my hip, he's again in position, or if he kicks me again, it's in an even worse position. So grips, extend, rotate and punch, small stutter step back as I push down to break the tension, and then get close to his hip, squat. Now a lot of people will put their knee down in this position. You do become less athletic, but you're also pretty solid here, okay? So make sure you're on your toes. Once I get into the squatted position here, I'm going to release the knee, go to the lapel, and I'm going to pull him towards me with my elbow locked on the outside of my knee, okay? Now there is variations of actually picking the guy up to create some nice opportunities. This one I want you to think more about pulling his head towards his knee here. That way I can basically compress him and put all of his defense to this side, and I'm going to end up going this way. Okay, so one more time here with this one. Extend, rotate, punch. Small step back, but don't overdo it. Crowd him, squat, pick up your grip, lock, and then this hand here obviously is going to shift up to the outside of the knee so I can punch into it, keep everything again to this side, okay? I'll show you the other variation of getting rid of this leg after, okay? So now we're going to break this down into a fundamental idea. So what I want you guys to think about is my head isn't going to shift that much. My legs are going to walk over, so I create this angle. Or if you think like if anybody skis, snow skiing, and you come to a stop at the bottom of the hill, you cut and you slide. So you need to make sure you don't go pull up and down, so you gotta make sure you counterbalance that, that edge, okay? So from here, again, we're gonna lock in. My legs are going to walk to the side here. As my head continues to stay buried over his midline. That way my weight is centered through him, but at the same time I'm breaking his grip and I'm shifting this leg to the back. So again, you're not going to ever really apply it this way, but it's good practice to understand how to keep your, your shoulder inside his knee. So walk without lifting your butt as I continue to lean my shoulder into his torso. Okay, so like I said, this is a bit more of an advanced version. Now once I get him to this point, my shin, is going to act slightly like a foam roller, but I don't have to go far. I don't want to slide out on him. I just want my hip to drop straight to the floor. Now, as I'm doing that, 
I want to eliminate his ability to fight me. So I'm walking, pushing my shoulder inside his thigh. Once I get to that point, I want to drop my hip, grab his sleeve, and pull up. Think like a karate do and chamber your punch. A lot of times I say lift his arm and people do this. Okay, don't do that. It's weak. Pull up. I drop my hip. And then now to finish, common problem two. People pivot on their knee. So then they try and go to side control. We see all the space I create. Knees just going to slide in a bit. So instead, when I drop my hip to the mat, I'm going to take a big back set and hug his butt with my thigh. Okay, weird thing to say, but it works. And you notice his hips were facing me and they rotated all the way back to the other way. So if we put this together, again, grip, remove, stutter step and stuff, crowd, but don't overdo your weight. If I give him my weight, if I go past his hip line, he elevates and flips me. I have to stay behind this line. Make yourself strong by getting that lapel and locking in. And then now again, we're going to walk, 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 walk. But you see the problem? My head went with me that time. Lean into it, my shoulder, right inside the knee. Here. Head knee. Find the elbow, drop your hip, okay? And now, big back step. Then we focus on side Okay guys, so if you can get this component down with those little incremental steps, when you do this fast and with an explosive uh, entrance, you're going to be in the right position. Okay? Give that a try. One, two. Which do you No. So it's recording there, buddy. So we've got a couple brand new guys and very new. So this is, we're specifically working this off of the Delhi Hiba. So we have a, a problem and a position to deal with first and then apply it. But the knee cut is the open guard pass, okay? Now if we just simplify this, if he just sticks his legs up in the air for a second here, it's a little weird. But all I'm doing is I'm cutting across his guard. That's basically what the pass is. No he sometimes feels like that. So for the new guys, all I want you to do, put one foot between your legs, okay? So I'm just jamming it up. He wants to close his guard on me. He wants to grab me with his legs. So I only give him one, okay? Now, pin that knee to the floor and put your shin across it. Now, he's not wincing in pain because I'm stapling his leg. I'm not crushing my knee on top of his nerve, okay? So as you drop here, then we're gonna grab that lapel, grab that sleeve, and we're just gonna slide down. Okay, slide into home base. So one more time, put the foot between your legs, you and pinch up if you want, push the knee down, grab that lapel, and then now to finish, I'm just dropping my hip. Okay, so for the newest guys, if you're struggling with context, just work on this. Okay, any open guard situation, you can do that. Okay, now, Back to the Deli Eva, I said I was gonna give you another variation of how to get rid of this, okay? If you have the athleticism, flexibility, balance, this is actually a viable option. If my head goes forward, my leg can come up. It's very difficult for people to kick you when you're here, and also my leg elongates. Now, I'm not loading my weight on him. I'm not giving, giving him elevation. But often, when guys are fighting from here and he's trying to kick me or something, if I just go here, kick up and then kick straight back over it just to get over this foot okay so again as we're here clear kick and manipulate the leg through okay and then we squat again now we're going to put this into one motion so we got all the way to this position we shut down the deli heva but i'm at risk still of him recovering or switching to spider or something okay so now one big lateral step a lot of the guys who are struggling we're trying to walk in a circle around him we stay behind the hip line until we've killed the leg. So I'm lateral movement. So what we're going to do now, one big step without lifting, because then his foot comes back. And then I'm screwed, okay? Big step, my hands snap over, but the key detail, don't leave your foot behind. So hold strong there. If I lead with my knee, 
he's still going to have me. Then he'll reset the foot, kick me, and I'm back to the delete again. Okay? So again, from here, clear, big kick back and over. Same position, elbow outside of the knee, so I can frame against this. Now, step and snap. Okay, this is where you're going to get that more of that mentality of that big aggressive kind of slide. Boom. Okay. Boom. And we're here. However, you want to clear, get to this position, passing position. Step. Everything over except my head and my shoulder is trying to go into his chest and stay on the inside of the knee. Here. Okay, if his knee comes in, this is a pain in the butt. If I drop my hip, the far in. So you're gonna have to battle. If his knee's inside, you're gonna have to <sighs> try to fight through. Okay, or at the go old school, you pin his shoulder. But still, I wouldn't like to do this. Okay? One last time. Clear, or clear, solid, stay low, big step, everything comes over. Okay guys, last little detail. Like I said, there's a lot of variations. This one is a more advanced pass. You usually stay postured. Like it's, I consider it a little bit more demonstrative. Where do you go? So where it's more about driving your knee through forward, like almost into his gut or across the groin line. And then you're staying up here. So it's like you're trying to basically crack a fresh book. Okay, I'm keeping, instead of carrying the shoulder over, you're basically punching into the shoulder line. And then I'm staying really tall here. And then I slowly start to fight in. So I've just never found as much success with that variation. I think it's a bit of a bigger guy pass. But one thing to think about, or two mentalities. Um, one, become a boulder inside your partner's guard. And then I have to basically smash my way through. Because if I'm not structured like a human being, you get I'm just turning off the ramp. Oh, okay. Um, if you're not structured like a human being, like a position that's meant to control a human being is going to be tough to control you, right? So you just want to basically smash your way through the guy's guard. Or another way I like to think about this is two gears. So one rotation pushes the other. So if our legs are the cogs, I think that's what it is. I mean, my little tiny clock, right? So as my hips go, I turn his hips, right? And then the same thing here with my body. So I wanna stay inside. I'm basically fighting with my head, my shoulder. I swing my elbow in almost like I'm key locking myself to collapse that space. Okay, but because I have that upper lapel and because I have the elbow control, he can't go to my back. So it's very, very difficult for him to stop. Okay? All right, guys, we're gonna switch one more pass. Again, and it's a very basic understanding for our leg drag. So instead of fighting to get over the leg, I'm going to put it to the other side. Okay? Now, grips can do lots of different things. But with the one I like, grab the heel or Achilles with my leg side grip. My other hand's going to grab the top of the pant right at the end. Okay? Now, Always, this is going to cause me an issue. If I don't deal with it and it's a strong hook and I try and do something, like you can see, I just get twisted up. So your first move should always be just try to clear. Okay, it's the default reaction. Go back. Anytime you're in Delhi, I'm constantly trying to just keep that out. And that's why this grip is nice because you can kind of just stiff arm it the whole time. And then when you're ready, heel, pant, rip, and pass. But the most important thing with the leg drag is what your upper body or your body in general is doing. If I stay hunched and try and do it fast, like you're gonna get hung up. And two, remember his reaction when I start to lift is to kick anything I do. So he's gonna be extending this leg into you a lot. So if we do this slow, again, get rid of the hook. As I lift, I arch my back, open yourself up and step into the hip. So I jam it up and then I turn my body to complete the pass through. Time, defeat the hook, find
find your grips, and then one big explosive movement, rip it across. And now we're gonna go super basic, just sandwich his knees together, pick up that same position that we had. My elbow is blocking his thigh, and my knee is eventually going to climb over it. Think staple pass. We're gonna go right to mount. A lot of people get hung up here with that Delhiba hook after a leg drag. We're just gonna blast right over it. So I pull myself over the top of his thigh. As I drive my knee, I'm just gonna break his whole position. Okay? One more time. Change it. Beat the hook. Find your grips. Big step, big hips. And then boom, collapse. Grip, blocking, and then now just fold yourself forward. And my chest goes up as my hips go forward. Okay, maybe not quite that exact. All right? Always hide your toes. Give that a try, guys. One, two. Okay, guys, time. Closing right. thoughts here. So again, all of this was just the most basic look that we can do at our knee through and the leg drag. Um, but specifically on the leg drag here, guys, in, in both moves, don't, don't hunt for what you haven't earned yet. Okay, so on the, on the knee cut, like don't start to step this way because it's not going to work, right? He's underneath me at this point. I'm giving him some easy sweeps, which we'll see later. And sorry, and on the, uh, the leg drag, if I go like this and I'm stepping by his shoulder, he's gonna scoop my knee, pull his knee back inside, he's basically the X guard already, okay? Maybe not, there, okay? But like, I, I can't give him that space to play with. I'm staying behind the hip line, okay? Clear, Kamehameha, bah. You see, I'm tight to the hip. I'm not giving him anything to work with. I'm jamming him up, okay? And it could be a very easy side control pass too. I'm just giving you guys a couple simple options. We're eventually gonna get into our gangster mount, which we kind of touched on a little while ago. Um, off that leg drag and a few other things. Okay, now, key thing, if the partner on top doesn't know how to engage with Delahiva, you'll never get into the more advanced options, okay? Because, as I demonstrated a couple weeks ago, if he stuffs my foot, yep, boom, he puts me to reverse Delahiva. So I can't just go, well, he's gonna knee cut and pass my guard. I need to know what to do from here. But for me to work from this position, I need him to be able to put me into this position, okay? So on. So get the basics going from this position here, and we start to counter next week, okay? All right, guys. Um, let's run uh, around a specific. So person on top, uh, your only goal is to pass Delahiva. Person on the bottom, sweep and submit from or well, sweep from the Delahiva. That's it. Use what you've learned. Okay. One, two. Three. 